Alrighty, you guys, I have to kit down this kit that I made from Sheen called Leopard and Tree Leaves. I have to put this away. I haven't done it. This is so far what I got for the square drills. I already explained that I have just started my square drill collection. Before this, I didn't have anything because I would just put it on a jar. Let me get my jar. This is my jar. This is how I was storing them. So now that I officially have a system, I have to put these away. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you want to join me, come ahead and grab your coffee or your diamond painting. The ABs, I still don't have a system for them. So far, I just have them in these baggies. So, so far, I don't have nothing to do with them. I don't have a system for them. We'll figure that out in the future together. And let's get started. I have to use the legend for this. They do have DMC numbers. All right, so this was a disaster kit because I mixed two colors. I had to unmix them. I really don't recommend <laughs> um, doing it this way. Um, I have to, I have to, gonna, I'm going to have to get myself a label maker if I want to um, not ha have that happen again for me because it was a disaster. All right, let's start with 150. Wow, it's really different. So I've explained before that the reason why I'm doing such big bags is because I do not plan on having multiple storages for my bags. It's just going to be this one and whatever doesn't fill the whatever doesn't fit here is going to go on the jar. And that's why I chose this big one. And I'm not gonna shade match either. I just want these in case something happens with a um, diamond painting and I need something right away. I don't wanna be filming a video and then having to stop and wait for the drills to come in the mail. I wanna have them available. If not, I would've just continued with my method, 223. I got these from Sheen and the baggies I got them off of Amazon. Number four is 310, our good old friend, 310. With this diamond painting, I had some baggies left over. They are all 310 and it's really unnecessary for me to open them, so I'm just gonna leave them here. Next is 350. 367 I don't have that one either I need a ruler
I already did a reveal on this if you want to go ahead and check it out. Um, it was actually a really good painting from Sheen that I got for about $20. Um, I was not expecting it to be so good. Um, I love that it didn't have any gapping. I love that. Barely any gapping on them. number seven this was one of the ones I mixed and had to unmix it this one and I believe number 11 yes <laughs> go watch that video it was a disaster I had to re um, I had to separate color by color 523 550. It's always better to get this down knowing that someone is with you because even though I will be posting this, it feels much better knowing that someone will be doing a diamond painting or just drinking a coffee while they're watching your video. So it feels like you're there. It's so weird to explain that. Something that I've never experienced before. Thank you so much for each and every one of you that have subscribed to my channel. To be honest, this is nothing that I'm doing other than what I normally do with my paintings. It's just that now I can record myself and actually share it with the world. So if you are considering subscribing or you are already a subscriber, I still give you a million thanks. Thank you so much. Um, it's really helpful. This is already therapy for me doing diamond painting. And now that I get to experience with the world and um, share it with everybody, I love watching kidding downs. I love watching kidding ups, people's reviews, their hauls. So things that I already enjoy, I might as well also record it and share it with the world to bring joy to other people. Like I said, this is my therapy. This is what helps me through the day at work because I've said before that I diamond paint while I'm working since I work for a call center um, from home. So while I'm repeating myself or just on hold maybe with another person, so I get to do this while I'm I'm working and my work day is so much better when I get to do it with a diamond painting at the same time. It makes my day much faster. Usually, um, since we're in the end of the month, this is when we are the least busy. We get back busy again in the beginning of the month. So today is October 30th. And um, days like today, if I didn't have a painting to do, it would have been very, 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 it's 7, 13, 7, 4, 2. Very tedious day at work. So this does help me through my day. It does help me with work. So I'm already enjoying something. I'm already doing this as a hobby. I might as well <laughs> share it with the world. So if you are considering subscribing or you're already subscribed, thank you so much for that. I hope you enjoy my channel and the content that I bring for you. And that this is a safe place where if you're having a bad day, you just tune in and there it goes. A video from... Your good old friend painting with diamonds. 807. One of the things that I liked about this diamond painting from Sheen was the gapping. I was not expecting to have basically no gapping. If you place a drill out of place, it'll show because the other ones wouldn't be able to fill, um, fit in. So this was my first one from Sheen. I've never done Sheen. All I've ever done are Amazon Diamond Art Club paintings. 
and the Amazon are pretty good, but I um, only did one round, one square, and I didn't like it how it turned out. Eight twenty-three. Eight twenty-three is sixteen. This is a very dark blue. It's kind of satisfying to do that. Eight twenty-three. All right, eight forty-four, eight forty, eight forty-one, eight forty-one, eight forty-two, and we don't have an eight forty-four. Here it is. So I was not expecting that the gap, we had barely any gapping. So I kind of like that about it because once you place a drill, the other one will push against, push against it and it'll help it come and get straightened out. So let's say you place a drill a little bit crooked. Once you place the other ones on the side, on the top, the bottom and all their sides, everything gets on its place. 890. So that's what I liked about this one versus the diamond painting ones are the ones that I've, square ones that I've done. You have a little bit of gapping and room there. So if something comes along wrong, it's okay. Um, you can still straighten it with your strainer. 890. All right, 898, here it is. Um, so that's what I liked about this painting. I also like the color palette. It was very different from what I usually pick and it turned out pretty cool. I'll show you at the end of the video another completion. So next is 902 and we don't have a 902 or a 907 902 907 I probably have them in my jar but I haven't saved them so uh, I love that I'm creating my story system as I go with the videos. That way we can I can compare it after, I don't know, a year, two years. What has become if I have all the colors already. <laughs> and this goes as well for my round drills. My round drills is even emptier. 9-11. We don't have a 9-11 or a 9-19. All right. 911 and 919. 911, 919. This one is going quicker than I thought. And the reason I have to kit this down is because I, I want to kit up my bohemian elephant one from diamond dots and it did not bring any labels and i still don't have a label maker so i have to use this storage system for that so i have to kit this down in order for me to kit another one to be um during do during the rest of the week because today is monday and i just finished my painting and i have nothing to do the rest of the week and i, I oh no no we need to do something about that Nine forty three. This one is 959. And we don't have it. 959. It's like an aqua blue.
977. We don't have it either. 977. It's number 26. <coughs> Sorry. Nine seven seven. Next we have nine nine two. And we have we already have it right here. It goes much faster when you already have the colors and you just have to dump them in. Alright, that was nine nine two. Let's go ahead with nine nine six and I believe I have it as well. Here it is. Nine nine six is number twenty eight. I think I have most of the blues because I I did the octopus from Diamond Painting called What Lies Beneath. And I have all the blues from that one. Alright, 29 and 30. 996, 996. There we go. Alright, 3801. Oh, we're going very far back here. 38. Zero one is that right? Yep, I don't have anything. I don't have thirty eight zero eight or thirty eight zero nine. Okay, that is thirty eight zero one, thirty eight zero eight, thirty eight zero nine. All right. 3801 is 29. We went really far back there. All right, let's do 3808. This one. Thirty-eight zero nine. And then we have 3822, and I think I have that one. Thirty-eight twenty-two. I don't. Thirty-eight twenty-two. Here it is. It's number 32. I need to get myself a label maker. I said it like three times because it's much easier. I don't have to keep looking at the paper. 3829. I don't have either. 3829. Three more left. This one only had 36 colors. It didn't have any ABs or any Aurora or um, any ABs or any fairy dust. I mean, I don't have a collection of ABs really big so I can start, you know, put, putting them in or fixing the canvas. I still don't have that. 3846. Nope. 3846. So hopefully soon I have a collection big enough that I can start, you know, putting my own ABs there. I've seen that they sell them. Um, I don't want to invest in that yet. Oh, and specifically because I don't have anywhere to put them. I still don't have a storage system for ABs. 3846. And then we have 53. We don't have anything for that. All right, and we're done. Let me go ahead and show you the painting so you can see how it turned out. And you can understand when I talk about the no gapping. Uh, maybe something that you, 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 you always thought that they're kind of bad, but they actually aren't. It looks like I already have it. 
$38.58. Oh my goodness. Here it is. All right. So let's go ahead and pull up the painting. I have it stored inside a bag. All right, so here it is. This is the actual drawing, and this is how it turned out. So it turned out better than I expected, and let me show you about the gap and what I mean. So when you look it up close, can you see that there's barely any gapping there? Everything is really straightened out, and I love that about it. And we have some popping though, but that's okay. It did have a lot of excess glue, so I had to put washi tape all over around it because the because it's a double sided tape. So it did it did had a lot of excess glue. Other than it being really cheap, honestly, I have nothing bad to say about it. I loved it. Yeah, I love the flowers. I love the mouth part. I love this leaf. And compared to the picture, it it's spot on. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me to kick down this painting. I really do enjoy it when you guys are with me. So please consider subscribing and see you for the next video. Bye.